Okay, so they expect us to finish uh, singles and double bracket with streaming in four and a half hours. It's two tournaments. The singles bracket will be in three hours. Are we supposed to be kicked out of here by now or what? Oh, okay. Okay. So Dark, uh, I don't know if they did a double blind here. Um, Dark went, Dark went Kirby. I think he knew DFX would go. Well, here's the idea. DFX goes Falcon. He's He'd rather do Kirby versus Falcon, and he'd yeah. rather do uh, Kirby versus Fox either way. So for Dark Horse, it was a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. The pick was, you know, was DFX going to go Falcon or was he going to go Fox? But Dark Horse has had some Fox problems. I mean, he beat Jim Money's Fox, which was actually pretty solid Fox. Uh, the big problem was he uh, he's lost to Hipster's Fox twice in Majors. Uh, he's lost to Protagonist's Fox many times and LD's Fox. So he definitely has some Fox problems. I think what you're saying about that smart choice, though. Dark Horse trying to cover every option he can. Ooh, the and Kirby does Yo, you should get that. Yes. Nice. Actually, this is interesting. We saw DFX uh, Fox versus Cobra's Kirby at Apex, and those are actually really, really close games. So DFX, I think, is pretty good at this matchup, and I don't think he's afraid of it. Which, you know, he's up, he's up with a stock lead, but that's going to be it. All right, so we're tied up. Eye by DFX. You manage it. Oh, and the the stud oh, still. So so since Dark Horse kicked Studs out of his house, uh, he's 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 he's, he's, absorbed, a, he's his absorbed his powers and his character. Although he goes regular Kirby and not Red Kirby. Right. <laughs> oh, the shine. That was sick. Shine got pressure there. On not pushing Kirby off the platform somehow. He's making Studs still irrelevant by playing Studs still Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I made my tag. Uh, so sheer, oh, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's a secret or not. So sheer madness. Uh, I think he messaged me. Said um, if I go, I, I, just a while ago, I was like, oh, you need to go to SmashCon. This was back like you know, back in April or May or something. And he goes, I'll go if you go under my name and I'll go under your name. Uh, but like the only difference would be the letters, the the, the the vowels in the sheer part of it, because mine is E A and his is E. -E. So on a, he registered, he's, I saw it was S H E E R S. So like, okay, we're doing this. So then I just went sheer madness. So. <laughs> now I'm teaming with Daniel. We got top eight a pound. Um, you beat LD and protagonist. You got, I think, second or third in Smash Bros last year. So yeah, Dark and a commanding lead here, and he should get the nair. Yeah. I think we'll see Falcon from DFX. I mean, he's gonna best of five. Ahead. This game's winner is. And I like. I'm not surprised. DFX has a lot of characters. Yeah. He, uh, he said in the last like, two years of grad school at Kernel or whatever, he would just play 99 stock Smash matches with like every character uh, and smoke a bunch and think about the game. And uh, he's gotten a lot better since. Like, if you look at him from like Apex 2015, or you know, I, I knew the I played the guy in college played him. Uh, and he was, he was okay, but he's gotten to a point where he's like pretty good and he's getting very competitive now. Right. And a lot of that, he says, is just playing the game a bunch. You know, doesn't even need other people to play with. Even go you're right, on. you're right. He had, I don't really see him very much on weekly scenes, he, but he's well known at uh, East Coast uh, majors. Oh, and he's best too, so that's, that's, the, that's the life of Pika. Pika's guaranteed one SD a game. Um, that's why, oh yeah, so guys, four stocks is terrible. Um, four stocks is effectively five stocks, but everyone starts off with an SD, right? right. That's what four stocks is. It's, it's five, four stocks is five stocks with everyone starting off with an SD. So in, so, yeah, but here's the difference, right? So, uh, so in, in four stocks, if you do SD once, you've lost 40% of your stocks now. Right. One SD in four stocks is a 40% is a loss in stocks. Because you've lost the stock that you started with, the fifth stock, right? That's, that's just gone. That's an SD, right? And then your your next stock is a loss. That's so two out of five. You've lost 40% of your stocks. That's why we can't do four stocks. One SD, one, one mistake, you've lost 40% of your game. So. While with five stocks, you SD once, you've only lost 20%. It's still a recoverable situation. I see it. And yeah, yeah, we want people to play optimal, but, you know, we're human. We can't make the game like, I mean, why not play one stock? We're going to go four stocks. Why not make a one stock? Too much room.
Why not? Why, why not turn it from forty percent suicide rate or uh, loss of stocks to one hundred percent? When I play five stocks, I pretty much generally like a brush the game is having like three free stocks to like throw away and then two to take really seriously. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> So Dark Horse, I'm a stock here. He's got good Pika experience. I mean, he plays Bar's Pika, he plays my Pika. Although I don't, I don't really play Pika anymore. Except against Jim and Joe. You like Pika Ditto, man? Uh, no. I, I actually haven't gone Pika Ditto's. I, I, went, I think I went once against Robert Pika Ditto's. Uh, but for the most part, I haven't played Pika Ditto's really. Just since Pound. Um, Dark Horse. Mr. Daniels. Oh, is that Daniels or uh, Daniels? That's Cody. That's Cody, yeah. Okay, okay. Good down air. My DFX. Did he get his jumps? Sometimes he gives you like a jumps right like around where you're landing. Oh, great. Sweet spot recovery. The force match will take a stop there. Good back air. So one stock lead for Dark. Uh, this is one. This is like Pika's only winning matchup against uh, Kirby. He can space well. Kirby's slow. Doesn't have any like like frame one. Kirby has no frame one or frame two options out of anything. So once you get hits on Kirby, you can just punish. If Kirby does something, you can always just wait for Kirby to do something and then punish after. Um, Kirby's slow. Can't really move much. So you can usually control the zoning. I don't know what experience DFX has in Kirby. Um, yeah, same. Oh, and Dark, the SD. That'd be 40% of his stocks gone if he had those four stocks. Good thing this is five stocks. Up smash. Oh, he wanted that weak near hit. Good up air. The near didn't get. Yeah. Up higher. Yeah, me too. I'll just take a break after this. Oh, I don't want to go home tonight, but you know, I'm going with it. And that's gonna kill. Alright, dark up 2-0. Hey, what's that guy's name in the It's uh, one of the Smash Riders. Nardwell is his tag. Alright, I'm gonna play Cobra next. We've had some really close sets. We've gone back and forth and wins. Cobra beat me the last time, though. This is game five last stock. It was at a uh, BLC. I, uh, I I made the recovery and then I did uh, I suicided. I made the rec I like I had the game and I got to the ledge and I just had to like jump up there and kill kill Cobra and I dropped off the ledge and just fell to my death and suicided and lost game five last stock. Uh, that's seemed like a signature move for me. So DFX going Yoshi. This is a, this. This is like a hard matchup for Yoshi, but I think Yoshi wins it. Um, the only thing, the only thing Kirby really has in this matchup is to just camp top platform. Yoshi's up air is like the most disjointed up air in the game, um, but it's only two frames and it comes out in frame ten, I think. So you have to kind of space those well, but your back air is going to be good. It's going to beat everything. You just got to not get trapped into like yeah, down air, back air. You can't like Kirby hit you really, or if they hit you, you have to have a double jump going through it. Um, Oh, 
Oh, no, I'm smashed there. Oh, good forward air. Yeah, Yoshi's got a lot of zero to deaths on Kirby, and if Kirby's grounded, you can just zero. To, you can just DJC through up tilts to punish. And if it's camping Kirby, your up air your up air will actually beat down air if it's spaced properly. Right. Uh, it's, it, you have to time it with your tenth frame. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what that's what screen comes in. That's actually what you guys just said in the, in a the chat. That this matchup isn't lucky for Yoshi, but it takes a lot of. Yeah, you have to have a good experience. You have to be very patient. You have to have really really good timing. It's hard, but I think Yoshi wins at the highest level. People like to build matchups, charts, and like tier lists out of like you know how it's played at the lowest levels in amateur brackets. Good up here. That the stream manager. You know, more than one person can type on a computer that can tell Good up air, he takes it. So he affects him a stock. This is his answer to Dark Scurvy. Oh, he did that back air? If it was a forward air, it could have been a whole nother game. Got him on stocks. See, the problem with this mic is I breathe out of my nose, and my nose air breath goes stick downwards, it, it and it goes lip. right into the. Uh, it your lip. It goes right here. No, no, right there. Right there. Right there. See if I breathe like really loud. <laughs> See, it still lower. goes into the mic. It's a Brazilian, it's a Brazilian winner's finals. With the USA. Uh, it's gonna be me versus Cobra now. Nice. This is 